Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to the channel. This episode, we're at a village called Scraingham. Some of you may recognise that name, particularly if you're a fan of uh, the Railway King. So we've come to see his final resting place. This beautiful little idyllic village. There is a family plot for the Hudson family here. It's easy to find. I found it. You can see it from the road, basically. So we'll turn the camera around. We'll approach his final resting place. And I hope you enjoy this episode. George Hudson was laid to rest here on the 21st of December 1871. He was born on the 10th of March 1800 at Howsham, a small village about two miles away from where we are uh, at Scraingham. At the time there was no, no church at Howsham and St Peter's and St Paul's Scraingham served both villages so Hudson was baptised here and then he made his fortune. He reserved a plot beside the entrance to the church which we can see there as the last resting place for himself and his family. Inside the church there are windows dedicated to Hudson so we'll try and get a look at those um, if we don't see them. You, I never got into the church, it's currently locked but I'll have a, a look around. He's buried with his wife who died in 1886. George Hudson was a railway entrepreneur and instrumental in putting York on the railway map. By 1844 his companies controlled more than 1,000 miles of the 4,000 miles of railways in England. His company controlled and leased over 50 different railway lines including York to Scarborough, York to Leeds, York to Market Wheaton, York to Berwick and of course Driffield to Malton Line. And he earned his name and title as the Railway King. In 1849 suspicions about his business and practices saw Hudson fall from grace but his achievements established early railways in England and York as a major railway city. That can never be taken away from him. So there we are, we'll have a look around the grave and we'll read what's on it in a moment. Here we are at Scraingham. The Hudson family grave is to your left there, this here. It's a beautiful idyllic village. George Hudson would have known all these places when he was a child growing up in these areas. And there's the family grave. All the headstones you see are related to George Hudson, known as the Railway King. Uh, this is his final resting place. George Hudson died December the 14th 1871 along with other family members in there. He died in London. If we go around to this side this is Elizabeth his wife and she died in Kensington. I'll move that down there hopefully you can see that Elizabeth widow of George Hudson died January 15th 1886 so she lived a fair while after him now there is supposed to be some windows in there that are related to George Hudson so I'm hoping we can get to them now this grave was renovated in 2019 new stones put around it letters re-blackened generally cleaned up professionally but this is his parents here sorry about my shadow there and this was renovated in 1925 and there are other family members graves at the back there that 
that is the final resting place of George Hudson. Now although he was accused of nefarious business deals, inflating the prices of shares and ultimately became ruined because of corruption, he wasn't the only one at this. He just happened to be the one that probably upset people and got caught out. We'll have a look at this at the back there. You can pause these if you wish to try and read them. right at the end. You can't really see anything left on there. Now I think I did get the date wrong here. I think I did say 25 when it's 35. And uh, it says here these graves were renovated by members of the Hudson family and a few admirers of George Hudson now known as the Railway King and the son of the above John and Elizabeth Hudson. Now we've been granted access. A gentleman that's the key holder, I've managed to speak to him and he's kind enough to let us into the church. And what we have is George Hudson stained glass window dedicated to him and there is a plaque along the bottom which unfortunately does need restoring so it's difficult to read but I've brought a torch in with me to the glory of God in memory of George Hudson born at Howsham that's the village it's a couple of miles away March the 10th, 1800, and died in London in December the 14th, 1871. And if we go here, this is the window dedicated to the Hudson family. Now this is where his funeral was. As we slowly look around the church. There are windows of importance in this building. Uh, now I did find it unusual there was no war graves outside but we do have a, a war memorial on there. First World War but not one for the Second World War. Likely because it was all farmland around here. Farms were important to be kept. Now this one here, this window To the glory of God and the memory of Elizabeth Hudson, this is the wife of George Hudson, the railway king, born at York, October the 16th, 1795, and died in Kensington, that's in London, January the 15th, 1886. Now to get the full effect of stained glass, you do need to see it from inside the building. And just while I am here, there is a particularly <coughs> special window, this one. It's unknown how this stained glass artist did a window for this church. But the artist did a number of these churches. It's St George's Chapel at Windsor. And the English people will probably know what that is. And then as we go up here, this is where sermons are held. So the Hudson family and friends would have been in here for his funeral. And I believe this 
is the oldest memorial at the churchyard and it's actually inside the church and it's from 1675 whereas outside the oldest one I've seen was I think it was around 1797 so this is the church of where George Hudson's funeral was I have to say it's a, it's a very nice church it's in a beautiful rural peaceful community here's where we have our christens let's just one more look at the Hudson family window which is that and the window dedicated to George himself stick around to the end because I will put some pictures up of those for you to appreciate in a bit more detail just before we leave this church behind I've been asked if I wanted to see something really quite special that was found while they were doing this Victorian extension what I'm walking in now of course I said yes so we're going to have a quick look in there now and I'll show you what it is it's really quite good so further in the back of the church I've been kindly shown these these are believed to be Saxon relics from a Victorian extension that was put on the church where we've just been looking so I'll just move into those so you can see those a bit more and there are some what they call grotesques which people commonly refer to as gargoyles but they are actually grotesques and those are here as well it's uncertain the age of these there is a school of thought around these believing that the Saxon but potentially as old as Roman I'll just move back onto those final resting place and where the funeral was of George Hudson. If you found this interesting please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.